it right there. Mount Charleston. Just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Almost 12,000 feet, I believe. We're going to summit that today. D Rock, you first outdoors. Hey. Jen's at the helm here. Caught a couple cool shows last night here in Vegas. Decided to get up at the crack of dawn. And we're beelining it to the South Loop Trailhead so we can try and summit Mount Charleston today. So, this is gonna be interesting. Let's go get some. So from Las Vegas, uh, getting to the trailhead that takes you up to Mount Charleston. I believe it's only about 45 minute drive or so in good traffic conditions. So we've got maybe 30 more minutes to where we want to be. So it's not too bad. It's an early Sunday morning, which makes it even better. And uh, weather looks like it's going to be good. Like we shouldn't have any storms to deal with, hopefully. And hopefully not high winds, but uh, that always remains to be seen on the mountain, especially. So we're not too far. All right, we're off the main drag and we're now in the Red Rock Conservation Area. So we continue on our way to Mount Charleston with the South Loop Trailhead. Pretty sparse out here now. Some trailheads. We want this one here, not Griffith Peak. We want to go all the way Charleston Peak, 11,918 feet. Let's get rolling. Jim, are you ready to go to 12,000 feet today? <laughs> She says, yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. Something I need to point out. We're not going to Cathedral Rock. We're going to the Mount Charleston, the South Loop. This takes us back down over here. And this area closes at dusk parking area so this is where we didn't want to park we came back up and parked at the uh, picnic area because in case we come back in the dark we don't want our cars locked up so we will move on and continue to access the south loop trail I think our starting elevation is right around 7,000, a little over 7,000 feet, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's always. 5,000 feet elevation gain. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a walk up. <laughs> Especially coming, since we acclimatized in Las Vegas last night, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Level. <sighs> True. So we want to be wary of any, uh, to related sickness. Hopefully we can avoid that today. Shoot up and get back down. So it begins. Up. Up, up. Whew. Again, pretty cool views. Just a few feet of walking. We're right here at the end of uh, August. And like I said, we're starting just above 7,000 feet, so it's a nice cool start. About 7.30 in the morning. I think we're anticipating <clears throat> five hours to summit. But uh, 
I don't think we're gonna be shaded very much. So, we're both humping over a gallon of water each. Some Gatorade. We got some wildlife right there. I'm pretty sure the camera's not gonna pick it up, but. According to the descriptions of this route, it's a grinder. So I may cry on this one. Jen's promised not to laugh at me. So just bear with me. Uh, start through a burn section. Sucking wind already. Got these views. The wind's already starting to blow. Curious how bad it'll be once we get out of the tree line. But looking down, you can see houses and buildings and things. That's the uh, old town, is what it's called. So at this point, we're hitting some switchbacks. And we got some shade, which is nice. I don't think we're gonna have much of it on this little walk. So, assuming we gotta switch back up, top out up here. And we wanna be careful and not break off trail and head up to Griffith Peak. I think uh, that can be the mistake sometimes, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Curious about signage. We'll see as we get up. But the trail's wide, unmistakable. Not too steep. I mean, it's steep, but not. So. Pretty chill so far. All right, so we can see right over here, we're gonna switch back up this. And there's been a little steep spots, but uh, so far, not too bad. We're thinking the uh, last mile or so would be a grinder to summit. Feeling. All right. All right. Trudging up these set of switchbacks. Failed to mention to start that uh, I think round trip we're looking at whew, close to 17 miles. So I think we got eight miles up. Eight and something miles down, 16 and a half, 17 miles round trip. Oh yeah? So 
I was just mentioning, I think we've probably come up about 1,500 feet. Jen's checking her instrument and it says we're at around 8,500 feet. So we're looking to hit 12,000. We got a little ways to go. But uh, these switchbacks are nice. At this time in the morning, we're in the shade. So we see the sun hasn't broke the clip, although it's about to. Good to get up these switchbacks where the sun's beating on you. Our altitude now nine. Um, eighty-nine hundred. Eighty-nine. We're getting up there. Definitely know when we get above ten thousand. That's when my body will start behaving differently. That heart will flutter and stuff. So I think I'll feel that when we hit it. This is our peak off in the distance here. There. That's completely bare. Yeah. Ooh. That's still a ways away. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Here we are, Mount Charleston Wilderness. Jen, we're officially in the wilderness. Are you scared? <laughs> Starting to get some cool views when we hit these roundabouts here see coming up but uh, the scenery is obviously dramatic so we are in one long section of switchbacks Oh, Jen, are you enjoying these switchbacks as much as me? <clears throat> Looks like we're in bristlecone territory. I love bristlecones. Are these bristlecone pines? Man, they sure look like it, don't they? Yeah, they really do. The bristlecone Let's go see if we can see our peak real quick. There it is. Well, we're not too far from topping out. And uh, get some quick views here. It's too much time. We got a lot of walking to do. But the views are already becoming quite spectacular. As you can see. This is the road we came up in. And we just came up this here. I do believe that is our peak right over there. So we're probably gonna top out, walk down there, and then attempt summit. So 
once we top out, I think it's uh, pretty easy. We just went through a couple miles of switchbacks. But we'll top out soon. And then I think it's fairly gradual walking. I could be wrong until we get to uh, Mount Charleston over here to where uh, we begin our attempt to summit. Then again, my, then it's probably gonna be a bit of a grinder. Switch back after switch back. Although, looks like we're about to uh, top out here soon at some point. That was a long stretch of switchbacks. And we're wondering if these are bristlecone pines. Cannot be for sure, but that is one large tree. No, they look like bristle cones. These are similar to what the trees look like up in uh, Great Basin, up top up there. We're taking a quick breather. I mean, we got miles of switchbacks and what's going to happen is uh we're uh, we're going to top out here soon and we're going to actually go down <laughs> and then head uh towards mount charleston for a few miles and then attempt summit so we're going to come off summit come back and then we have to hike back up only to come all the way down so it's yeah, it's definitely going to be a grinder of a day, given that. Whew. But it is absolutely beautiful out here. There's no denying that. And if we haven't yet, we're getting really close to 10,000 feet because I can feel it. My body, my head, everything. And we both have slight headaches, so I'll probably drop some ibuprofen here shortly. When we make summit or attempt summit, we're gonna charge it, get up there, spend a little time, and come down pretty quick, just so uh, in case we start feeling ill. Whew, all right, continuing on. actually passed quite a few people coming and going so it's a popular area percent sure but I think that that peak there is Griffith Peak and you can break off and walk the spine to top out over there but that's not where we're going as you can see there's a trail going this way it may just go to a viewpoint and may continue on but uh, I'm not gonna waste time to figure it out so we're actually just gonna continue on Loving it. Every minute. <laughs> Man, look at that big tree right there. Whoa. That thing is enormous. Well, we are on another section of switchbacks. And man, let me tell you. <laughs> it's steep. <laughs> oh. No matter what, it's going to be rough. Uh, we are getting some views. We're also getting some clouds. We keep an eye on that. I can see Vegas from now. Hazy down there, but I can make it out. I pass here. Whew. It's 
Got to embrace the suck on this one. Ain't that right, Jenna? All right. Made it up some fairly evil switchbacks here. And we got a sign. So, this will be our jumping off point to make our way to Mount Charleston, I believe. Let's have a look. All right, I was correct down there. Griffith Peak this way, and that is Griffith Peak. Mount Charleston, that way. So we're gonna take a minute. Have a little water, continue on to Mount Charleston. All right, we're gonna take a fiber. Have some water, a little something to eat. At this point, uh, the trail junction we just hit, where you can either go to Griffith or continue on to Mount Charleston, that's our four mile point. So we've got another, what, four miles to go? Yeah. Another four miles to go to Summit. So. But not much, really, in elevation gain. Yeah, we're already. What, what, what's our elevation now? Uh, it's not telling me, but it, I think it's ten th about ten thousand seven hundred. So the final push is going to be the good one. <sighs> Bug just blew in my mouth. That's how impressive the sight was. I was just looking at it. My mouth was agape. Yeah, right in a. Nice big old fly flew right in there. <laughs> oh. Man, we are on top here. We some views. As we make our way over to Mount Charleston, this peak behind us here. This is, uh, you can see the trail running up it. That's Griffith Peak there. So we're not bagging that one today. We're gonna be a gonna maybe a gradual. You can see the trail laid out in front of us here. I right, just kind of up and down, up and down. It may drop us down a bit, but uh, topped out for the moment. There's some views down there. Pretty cool. That's pretty chilly too. Windy. We brought jackets, rain gear, long pants, everything. In case we get cold. See a peak off in the distance right over here, right up there. That is Mount Charleston. Void of anything resembling a tree. So, it's going to be impressive once we get up there. Jacket on, chilly. Passing through pretty serious burn area. As of this far, wow, look at how big. 
big around that tree was. Let me give you an idea. first section of switchbacks that topped us out took us right around three hours to top out at the trail junction which was four miles now we're on uh, the part of the trail that takes us over to Mount Charleston and I think the summit from that trail junction was right at or near another four miles so uh, the trails pretty flat as of this point giving us good time so hopefully we can uh, attempt summit here within the next hour and a half or so it's already at about 11 o'clock moving right along Pretty big burn area. You can see it all along the side over there. This place was lit up. Ooh, speaking of up, we're walking up. Kind of eerie. This would be cool to walk through during a full moon. Trees like this. Really eerie like that. So it's been a very gradual rise up. Nothing like the steep switchbacks, but uh, this of course isn't going to last. Uh, pretty pleasant though, not too bad. Ate some ibuprofen. I think we're above 10,600 feet, is that correct? Yeah. <clears throat> A light headache. How about you? I'm doing okay. You're okay? I think we've both eaten a little bit of ibuprofen. <clears throat> so, 10,859 feet. 10, feet now. Quickly approaching the 11 mark if we don't drop back down. But, uh, we may drop back down here. We may not. See what is what shortly. on this burn section. No water to be found, to be had at this point, late August. I'm sure there's plenty in the spring, runoff and whatnot, but uh, you're gonna hump all your own water right now. <clears throat> so bring plenty of it. Well, the trail kind of stops, so. There it is. That was just a viewpoint. You know, I'm amazed. I have not seen one cairn. Have you? Could this possibly be a cairnless hike? You know, we're gonna have to build a cairn. I mean, I just don't feel right. It won't be. There'll be a big There's gotta be. I just, you know, I just don't feel right without seeing a cairn anymore. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Getting closer. Getting closer. Yeah. 
This is pretty cool walking along this. You can see our drive in. It's our road down there. And off in the distance there, wonderful Las Vegas, where we had an awesome time last night. Watching Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie rock out. Yeah. So that's how we do Vegas. Come in, catch a show, get a rock on, then get up before dawn and hike a big mountain. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. folded over like that. <laughs> Fire wreaked havoc. All right. Woo! Well, now we're looking down on that section of burn bristlecone forest. Whew. Boy, we are getting up there. We want to keep an eye on clouds over there. It's kind of looking monsoony. We're not far from summiting. I think. <laughs> We're probably four miles away. <laughs> oh man. It's too bad it's so hazy. But uh, the views are spectacular thus far. So I can't imagine once we're on top of what we're here, it's going to be uh, pretty cool. But it's one foot after the other now, trudging. All right, we see our peak. There she is. Look at that. Right there. Mount Charleston in all its glory. It's not four miles away either. <laughs> it's, it's further than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, man. There it is. Whew. Almost there. Huh? <laughs> We're almost there. Yes, we are. So it looks like the trail's splitting off here. There's a... I personally kind of want to stay high keep the altitude it looks like it goes around on that ridge there and wraps around so we're gonna go give that a try so we can uh, keep some altitude instead of having to come back up the trail looks fairly well defined so I think we'll be good to go and look at these views wow the camera's not making it as uh, impressive as it is but uh, trust me views are bad to the bone all right we've decided to take the higher the trail the lower trail goes into the bristlecone forest higher one stays up I'm sure they're both leading to the same spot but uh, we 
prefer the upper one, if you will. Right there. Look at that cairn. Man. Now we're talking money. Look at that. What? She coming up that cairn. There she is. Cairn! Uh, oh, another cairn. Man. We are on it. Breezy up here. Put a jacket on as soon as we stop. So this part of the trail looks like it might get a little uh, loose. You know what I mean? That's an impressive Karen. Yeah. See, I thought I was gonna have to build a Karen, but uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to. I think I think we're good to go. Yeah. So it gets a little steep up through here, a little loose, and we are making our way up, up, up. I'm trying to take deep breaths, Get some oxygen in me. That's how we're getting these headaches. Our peak. I think we might have some plane wreckage over here. Wow. Back it over on the spine. Let's drop there. Woo! up here. Alright. We're about to reconnect with the proper trail. Plane wreckage right up here. We did that on the way back down, but all about hitting that sun right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Push. Mount Charleston. Summit. Let's go. Let's go get some.
too bad though. And got some plane wreckage strewn up right here. Up, up, up. We are here. I'm gonna lose my hat. It's so windy. You can see the American flag flapping up there. We're almost there. Almost there. <sighs> Catching a break from the winds nice on this side. And it's howling over there. Thousand four hundred and sixty feet. That means we only got five hundred feet to go. Right? Yeah. I think the peak's what uh, eleven thousand nine hundred. I mean, it's really almost above. Five hundred more feet to go. We were there. Nope. Looks a little more than 500, doesn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, elevation-wise, going straight up, it doesn't look like it would be 500 feet. Though. Yeah, it's 500 feet. <sighs> or more, or less. We're there, almost. Almost there. I think it's gonna be windy up there. there. Oh. We are so close. Can you see the flapping flag right there? Man, that's us. Is within grasp. Man, we're gonna get it. We're gonna bag this mother. Oh. Uh. I don't think I have any snot coming out of my nose. Right. Sucking wind, baby. Come on, get some. We are there. Oh. Can't stop. Oh. There it is.
survey marker. Back. Go down here for a 360 view. Whew. Got some wind shelter here. Okay, come on. So that's looking back at the summit there. Sweet. Your first outdoors summit, Mount Charleston. 11,900 feet. That's how we do it. All right, we're gonna relax for a second, grab a few photos, and we're out of here, man. Here's another marker here. Let's get that. Mount Charleston. 1926, I was jammed in there. Pretty cool. All right. Turn down this wind shelter. Yeah, that wind for a second, man. Oh, it's howling. Time to eat something. What do we got? delicious bologna sandwich coming up. Thank you very much for making that, Jen. Oh, so nice to be out of the wind for a second. So that's a pretty big wind shelter at the top here. Can accommodate quite a few people. We can chill here for a second, have some food, relax, and then hit the road. Now, Jen, what do you think of the summit here? Oh, it's awesome. What did you think of the hike up? I thought it was great. Let me have a snort of that Mountain Dew. Look at Jen hiking up Holy the Mountain cow. Dew. That last mile, oof. That was rough. Oh, that's glorious. <laughs> wow. Whoo, man. I don't know, for me, those three miles of switchbacks were the butt whipper. Yeah? Yeah. That last part really wasn't so bad. I was breathing. I feel surprisingly good for being at uh, 11,900 feet. Yeah? Not well, bad. I mean, it's not a wheeler, you know? Well, a wheeler, I wheeler was 13,000 something, right? I could right? feel it up there, yeah. Well, this is just fine. I got a little headache, but not too bad. So we got some really cool people sharing uh, this uh, wind shelter with us. You'd like to introduce yourselves? Hi, Ruth Wysocki and my husband Tom. Tom Wysocki. Excellent. Yeah. They're on the, we've been leapfrogging each other on this whole hike since the beginning. <laughs> We're all up here on the summit now and uh, you're on an Olympic? Olympic team in track in 1984. Excellent. How cool yeah, is that? Cool. Well, we're now up here with some celebrities, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're the YouTube star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a great time uh, hiking with these guys. And uh, they're originally from Las Vegas. I'm from Las Vegas. She's from Southern California. Okay, excellent. Well, we're coming in from Utah, so it's great to meet all sorts of people. It and uh, appreciate you giving us knowledge and <laughs> sharing this trail with you, man. All right. It was great. It was right. a lot of fun. Absolutely. And, uh, and be safe on the way down. Thank you very much. Safe travels to everyone. Okay. All right. Here. Off the summit, back into the wind, heading back down. Met some really cool people today. Great hike. Now, I'm gonna beeline it down. 
eight miles back down. I think we figured uh, just over five hours to summit. So that's kind of what we were expecting. That's pretty good. For me, the uh, worst part of it for me was the three and a half miles or so of switchbacks. Boy, I was really sucking wind. This section right here, Jim wasn't particularly fond of it, so. Yeah, this was my worst. Yeah, this, this, this part was her worst. So, you know, you have your moments. <laughs> so we're hoping to get down three hours, maybe three and a half hours, we'll see. But that's what we're shooting for. And I think this is a great hike. Yeah, there was a couple of moments we were breathing hard, but yeah, no, not overly strenuous, to be honest with you. As I mentioned down a little lower and earlier, there is no water to be had, so make sure you pack enough. And for us, that was about a gallon and a half a piece. I'm sure in the springtime, there's running water in spots that you can filter from, but uh, late August, it ain't happening. And we got lucky with the weather because it's still kind of monsoon season and uh, man, we got a great day out here. That is for sure. So I'm not gonna record too much more going down because we're just backtracking this, the way we came up. Unless something strange happens or odd or something of that nature. So, see you down at the bottom. Now the good news is I think we are approaching our all downhill section, so we are good to go. And I want to give a quick shout out, Heidi and Nate and your family. Wish you were up here with us, man. The views are tight. And that's one cool shirt. <laughs> oh, mercy. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> okay, this is Griffith Peak right here. So we're right back, uh, just not too far from the trail junction where you just got those miles of switchbacks down once we hit that junction four miles from back of the truck I tell you my dogs are barking get done with those switchbacks they're not going to be barking they're going to be howling I'm telling you we're making pretty good time it's all downhill still enjoying these beautiful views nice hopefully we've only got maybe an hour and a half left get to the truck we will see just when you think you're done going up you get this sweet section to go back up right before you hit the trail junction I'm sure Jin enjoyed it as much as I did huh I'm talking to the people, to the YouTubes. I was talking to you too, though. So I want to take another minute to uh, give a shout out to Ruth and Tom. It's not very often that, as a matter of fact, I've never stood next to an Olympic athlete and her better half. That was awesome. Two cool people. Thanks for sharing the trail and the summit. Hope you guys made it down okay. Look forward to hearing about your Grand Canyon adventures. Hope our paths cross again. Now, we are about to begin the final descent. Four miles of switchbacks. Woo! <laughs> Man, I love it. Ah. <sighs> Here we are, here is the trail junction. That will take us back to our truck. 
and our sandals. There you have it. From the peak. Boom. All right. Four miles left. All downhill. Look at that. All down. These are going to love me. I think I uh, probably have my ibuprofen max. I think I've taken five, five pills so far. Two going up, three at the summit. I'm going to have to leave it there unless I start crying going down this. There we go. Miles of switchbacks. Let's get it over with you. All right. Here we go. Good news is uh, we'll get down it pretty quick. Whether that be on our feet or roll down it or some other way, we will get down. And this particular section here is a very steep section of switchbacks to get you up to the junction here. So, we might be in some shade back down there though. That'll be nice. Alright, we are coming down, down, down. This is about the end here. Back to the truck in just a few minutes. This is the first parking area, camping area, uh, or the last one where we couldn't come in this morning. So we went to the other one, but uh, right around the corner from uh, the truck, really, not too much farther. Uh, just a couple of things to talk about if you're intending to do this hike. Bring water, lots of it, gallon. Uh, bring a headlamp you might come down in the dark it is 16 miles round trip and uh, depending on the time of year jacket windbreaker wind howls up there uh, there's a few items that'll help you out on this hike make it a little more pleasant thought I'd mention that uh, cell phone reception was spotty worked halfway up and then uh then we really didn't get reception at different spots maybe it was my phone or whatnot but it seems spotty to me so it's another thing not to rely on and to think about you may not have service all in all sweet hike beautiful views yeah absolutely worth it I see the truck. Good news. Was that a bomb hike or what? Oh, man. <laughs> it was something. All right. That was hiking, summiting Mount Charleston. 11,900 feet. Appreciate you watching. As always, stay safe out there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Stay tuned. More adventures coming. See you next time. D-Rock out. Turn out.